Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is, is very close to me. It is Proverbs 16, 9. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. This, I'm going to break this down into two different days because this is a big deal. The first day I just want to, let me, let me show you this clip real quick. As I'm getting ready to walk toward them, walking back toward the RV, and I, this might not be politically correct, but this is my truth. And I literally hear God tell me to turn around and go check on Topping, who was by herself down on Broadway. And um, as I turn around, you know, for me, it felt like I only took three steps. And then the music stopped. And as I'm walking back toward Topping now, I just see orange and then I hear a loud boom. And uh, as I'm stumbling, uh, cause it, it rocked me that hard, I started stumbling. I just tell myself to stay on your feet, stay alive. And I just take out in a full out sprint. Now that is a clip of a man who just about died, but he listened to the still small voice of the Lord. I can attest to this by just about dying 12 times in my life and sometimes listen to that still small voice. I remember one, one of those times it told me, don't go home. And the next day I find out there are traffickers showing up from my home. 12 different occasions by listening to that still small voice. I think of first Kings chapter 19, 11 through 13, where Elijah, was just, he was so distraught and he was looking for the presence of the Lord. And the Lord said, go and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. The Lord was that gentle whisper that still small voice. When the Lord told me to not go home, it was thoughts. He sent this un unbelieving, overwhelming thought. Warren, what are you doing here? Don't go home. Don't get a place on base. Leave now. I was at a restaurant. Sometimes the Lord changes our steps. We got this one plan that we're going to do. We're going to go over here. But if we don't listen to that still small voice, if we don't listen to him call us and say, don't go that way, we'll be blown up. It happens in so many different ways. You have to be able to listen to God's audibles. God gives us audibles. And when we don't listen, when we don't obey our shepherd's call, then we run into problems. Tomorrow I'm going to touch more on this. But I just, I just, I love hearing from the Lord. It gives me comfort. It lets me know I don't got to worry about anything. He's going to protect me. He's going to tell me what I need to do each day, each step. Dear Heavenly Father, just thank you for what you do, Father. Thank you for giving us the still, small voice to hear from you, Father. Thank you for speaking to us and protecting us. And Lord, may many be saved. And may many be healed, Father. Whatever ailment they're going through. Help people heal their hearts. Heal their, heal their bodies and heal their souls, Lord. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.